Michelle Knight, this is the Astrological Update for Taurus for the week starting the 13th of May. And happy birthday to my gorgeous Taurus son, Julienne, while I'm at it. Anyway, there's a grand water trine this week and it's making your emotions come to the surface. It's all very full on. But at the beginning of the week, it starts out quite optimistic. There's an opportunity to, for you to really tune in to your emotional needs and ask the universe to point you in the direction of what you need to change within your emotional self to move on to the next part of your journey. We have the moon trying to, in a way, be detached and look intellectually at what it is you need. And that's trining Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, in the position of your relationships. And that's trining Neptune, your spiritual guide, in a way, connected to your friendship. So seek solace and advice from a friend and be open to what you need to do emotionally for the next stage for you. Mercury, the planet of communication, is entering a position where you're feeling more stable about what you're saying and also what other people are saying on the 15th. And on the 16th, the moon is squaring Saturn. There may be a part of you that's insecure and you're trying to decide whether the, that you're in a relationship because you're insecure or how your insecurity affects relationships. Now that's not a criticism, we're all insecure. But sometimes for a Taurian, they can stay in something far longer than is necessary. A, because you are loyal creatures, and B, because there's a certain trepidation of, of embarking on a new pattern or a new journey. Look within yourself this week, you have no choice to find out where you're at and how strong and confident you feel within yourself. And that should be your aim this week, to build on your sense of self and your sense of fabulousness and your trust in the universe. We also have Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, in your position of your spirituality, squaring Pluto in your sense of adventure. There's a part of your life that perhaps you want to change and make more adventurous, but perhaps you have fears that are old fears or fears that don't make any sense, or your mind tends to go in the direction of fear. Now is the time to challenge that because there is a new era of adventure afoot. We then have at the end of the week, an achievement triangle where Venus is squaring the moon, it's oppositioning with Chiron, it's squaring Venus. There's a whole load of stuff that you have to deal with connected to your relationships. And there's a part of you that wants to be frivolous and free and perhaps you need to listen to that part. It really is quite a lot about emotion this week. If you're dealing with a career issue, you need to, I would suggest, resolve whatever emotional blocks you have or anything that's bothering you emotionally. If you face that, and if it's a fear, face that, then things should clear on all levels. But it certainly is a very revelatory week. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.